United States has threatened to impose the strongest sanctions in history against Iran if the country's leadership did not change the course of its foreign and domestic policy. Weeks after the United States pulled out of an international nuclear deal with Iran, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has now spelled out a hardline approach towards Tehran. It includes working closely with the Pentagon and regional allies to contain Iran. Pompeo laid out 12 demands for Iran and said relief from economic sanctions would only come when Washington had seen tangible shifts in Iran's policies. Pompeo said the United States would also hold those doing prohibited business in Iran to account. His threat to further sanctions came as European parties to the landmark nuclear deal. France, Britain and Germany were working to find a way to keep the pact in effect with Iran after Washington's exit. Pompeo said Washington would be open to a new treaty. He wanted the support of America's allies. Earlier this month, Donald Trump withdrew from the 2015 nuclear agreement, which, called, which he called a horrible one-sided deal. He said it did not address Iran's ballistic missile activities and it did not check its regional behavior. Listen in to what Mr. Pompeo said today. We'll apply unprecedented financial pressure on the Iranian regime. The leaders in Tehran will have no doubt about our seriousness. These will indeed end up being the strongest sanctions in history when we are complete. After our sanctions come in force, it will be battling to keep its economic economy alive. Iran will be forced to make a choice, either fight to keep its economy off life support at home or keep squandering precious wealth on fights abroad. It will not have the resources to do both. And I would remind the leadership in Iran what President Trump said. If they restart their nuclear program, it will mean bigger problems, bigger problems than they'd ever had before. And joining us is our correspondent from Washington, D.C., Kevin McAleese. Kevin, uh, give us a little more on what Mr. Pompeo proposes for Iran, 12 new demands. Yeah, 12 sweeping demands from the new Secretary of State uh, from the United States after Donald Trump ripped Washington from the JCPOA. Well, here we have it. Critics said, where's your plan B? Pompeo outlined it today at a conservative think tank. It is long, it is broad, but let me give you uh, a few of the, the big uh, requirements uh, from Iran by the United States. Tougher restrictions on Tehran's nuclear program. Uh, Iran must end its malign activities in the region, its funding for uh, terror groups, uh, curb its ballistic missile program and release all American hostages. These are uh, conditions that did not come under the previous Obama era deal. This is what is distinguishing that from the proposal of this Trump administration. Uh, he stopped short of talking about regime change, but on multiple occasions in this speech, uh, Pompeo addressed the Iranian people directly, saying, you deserve better from your government. Do you want to be known as a country that supports uh, terror organizations? The United States believes the people of Iran deserve better. So clearly trying to get the message over to Iran, while at the same time saying that the United States will prevent Iran from ever obtaining a nuclear weapon. Where it fell short was on detail on exactly how the United States, having effect effectively walked away from the original Iran deal, intends to get a global coalition together to support a new agreement. That's going to be the challenge for this Trump administration now. Very quickly, any reactions from Tehran yet and America's European allies or former allies? Well, we know where Europe stood. They came over here. They tried uh, at length to lobby Donald Trump not to exit this deal. Uh, he didn't listen to, to him. That fell on uh, deaf ears here at the Trump administration. And Iran has said, you know, we are not open to a new deal. We've committed to the terms of the original 2015 deal. That's where we are at the moment. We know Europe is trying to salvage that uh, as we speak. Uh, but the United States believes that it will eventually be able to convince Europe to come round to its way of thinking, to convince uh, a broader coalition of countries to support its new maximum pressure uh, uh, maneuver against the Iran, Iran regime. And that's what the United States now is hoping uh, to achieve. Bring Iran to its knees and then they'll come to the negotiating table. That seems to be the strategy from Mike Pompeo today. Kevin, thanks very much for that update from Washington.